good afternoon. <coughs> Sorry, a bit last minute just to grab the camera and get out on the ground. And uh, I popped over to a place that's quite close by uh, called the Roaches in Staffordshire in the Peak District. Such a a great place to come to because um, you've got multiple choices of where where to go really because you've got the roaches um, which are just up there behind me or if I spin round you've also got Pen Cloud which is another great vantage point so you know there's always good options here depending on the weather um, the cloud, the sun, so it's always nice. Um, it's looking a bit turbulent, I think, is the, the apt word for it this evening. You know, I'm certainly not not here to get anything like a sunset. You know, it's just a case of just being out on the ground sometimes with the camera, you know. It's not all, to me, well, to me anyway, it's not always about big booming colours, big oranges, um, reds and the sunsets. It's, say, it's about just being out there, being out in the wild, enjoying it, get some fresh air in the lungs. So it is nice, it is nice. Just cover my microphone up a little bit, it's a bit bit windy so yeah today we're gonna go about halfway up um, you know and, and look out uh, probably over towards the Cheshire Plains um, you know catch a bit probably might even get a bit of cloud movement shots you know we'll see what it's like when we get up there and uh, yeah, enjoy it. I love it. I love it out here. Uh, all places in the Peak District, uh, having this place on your doorstep for me is ideal. You know, because sometimes you don't want to travel and drive for hours. You just want somewhere that's nice, just to go and just drive too quickly. You know, it's not not that far, and it's just as enjoyable so here we are um, I'm gonna push on up up the bank uh, up to the top and we'll have a scope around and see what we can find up there so I shall see you in a few minutes at the top I just spin round just quickly I said the other spots and location you got up here uh, up there uh, is a place called Ramshaw Rocks Again, another beautiful little spot. Um, you know, it's just the place around here is just full of grit stone. It's lovely, just lovely. So we're yeah. I'll see you in a minute at the top. Bye for now. In your head, in your head. On the edge of this rock here, there we go. A bit quieter. Um, yeah, 
so push now it's just been out um, you know, feeling the wind on your face and breathing in the clean air of the peaks just great <clears throat> looking at where the clouds going I might be lucky and just get probably one or two many breaks uh, as it goes uh, down through basically behind the, one of the little openings in the clouds so I might walk away with something yet, I don't know I don't know, I've uh, just been taking a couple of a couple of images um, just before I got this camera back out we'll see what they come out like but, uh, you know in, in certain pockets you know there's a lovely light out there just not conducive of what I want today. Uh, it'd be nice sometimes when the weather gods do just play ball for you when you ask. Well, that's one of the beauties of landscape photography, isn't it? You know, take it as it comes, do what you can when you get out, and uh, take a chance on it. And that's ultimately what I've done today. around now with the camera a little bit see if I can get uh, a couple of nice images in the bag uh, and then uh, I've got something to walk away and be happy with then who knows what it's going to be like but, uh, I say the, the clouds are moving quite quick uh, I was going to do a, a long exposure but I uh, decided, decided against that so uh, the tent stop will stay in the bag so yeah I'll see you in a few minutes and uh, let's see what we can find what we can get bye bye for now come round to um, just one of the little outcrops of rock and um, that's uh, more looking towards um, Bosley Cloudway um, you know a bit of Tittersworth in the, in the distance there that you can see a uh, nice reservoir as well uh, and what I'm doing really is uh, I've just been taking a few long exposures because I thought why not you know while I'm here um, so I've just been having a bit of a play with that uh, so I've just fired off a few frames just to, as a as a way of bracketing. And all I'm really doing, uh, I'm just waiting for the sun to, to go down a little bit more. And if I just adjust um, the EV on the camera, just bear with me. Let's drop that down a little bit. Just so you can see the clouds uh, up there. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, the setting sun will, will catch them quite nicely, I think. Um, certainly got potential there to do it. So that's what I'm waiting on now, really. You know, it's just a, a patience game. Winds died down a little bit in this spot, so <laughs> it's, it's not, so, not so bad. It's all said and done, it's, it's a lovely evening. It's nice to be out on the ground with a camera, you know, just taking um, nothing planned, you know, just taking images that look nice when just when the light falls on them. So, 
kind of hoping that it's going to colour up a little bit tonight over there. Uh, it's going a little bit cloudy right up on the horizon, uh, so uh, I can't can't include the reeking in enemy images. But we'll see. You know, um, current shots at the moment. I've just been taking a set of bracketed ones. Uh, I've got uh, 0.6 and 0.9 full NDs and uh, a 0.6 soft ND um, and a circular polarizer. You know, it's given me a, an exposure time of between 10 and 14 seconds uh, on the brackets. Uh, they look okay on the camera actually, they don't look bad. Um, we'll, soon, we'll see what they're like when we, we get them onto the computer and start processing them. But fingers crossed. So I'm going to take a few more uh, while the clouds are still moving quite quickly. Uh, and then it's waited out and, until the sun starts going down, which should be probably in around about another 15-20 another tw minutes. So uh, I shall see you again in a few. And hopefully we'll have some nice colour there. Bye for now. to head back to the car. Time to call it a night I think. Uh, the, the light went really really quickly tonight. Um, so you know no more images to be had. So I think it's time you know, to back up, go home, uh, maybe have a look at uh, the images that I've taken. But you know, another evening out in the peaks, you really can't beat it. It doesn't matter what, to me, it doesn't matter what the weather is. You know, whether it's showers, sunshine, blustery winds, <coughs> it doesn't really bother me at all. I just enjoy it. I just enjoy being out here. You know, it's the same whether it's somewhere in the Peak District or over in Wales or the Lake District you know they're just areas of outstanding natural beauty and you know so many people just sit at homes idling their life away watching the world go by and there's all this beauty out, out in the outdoors and you've got to go out and enjoy it that's what it's there for, to, for us to enjoy. So get off your backsides and get out walking. Get yourself a good pair of boots, some good waterproof, waterproofs, walking clothes, and go out and bloody walk. Enjoy the scenery. Get that fresh air in your lungs. Get off Facebook. Put the phone away. life for living and one day you'll be sitting at home and you'll regret not getting off your backside because you'll be too old so get it done go and enjoy it and on that little philosophical note I shall say bye bye for now see you next time